never notice how tan I am until I get to Europe. It's when I can see my skin from Africa. This is an African shop in Northampton. This is what they got. They got some super mall. They got some palm oil. Has been also peanut snacks. What's up, African superstar family? That's right. I am back in Europe. I'm back in the UK. I'm back in my former hometown, Northampton. You guys see me um, out and about trying to just get a few small things and it's rather shocking but yes yeah. yes i'm homeless i'm homeless yes i'm homeless i'm homeless um i kind of shared with you guys like the struggle of housing in the uk for me and that has been ongoing so i landed and i literally didn't have any place um because the efforts that i keep making keep getting blocked and it's just so much stress so i've decided to start using airbnb um when i come to the uk instead of trying to deal with friends and you know i've tried to rent a room obviously renting a room if i'm going to be here for a few months is the most economical thing i could do However, it's not working out. And you guys know I'm really big on making things happen no matter what, you know? So this is the way that I figured out I can come and go. So it's basically like the only conclusion I could figure out of how I can just come here and be short term. And it's, it's actually kind of freeing. I mean, obviously I know I'm going to spend more money on Airbnb than I would have in house rent, but you know, what can I do? And it does kind of alleviate just like the stress, you know, the stress of people telling you they're going to do this and that, and they don't. And, you know, here in the UK, everything is so complicated. They need this, they need that, they need all these documents, you know? So if you're not going to be here that long, it doesn't make sense. If I was going to be here like six months, or, you know, I was coming back here to live again, then absolutely, yeah, take my time, find longer term accommodation and all that. So right now, technically as it stands, I'm a homeless girl. I'm a homeless girl, you know, and um, I'm just trying to find my way. I have an Airbnb that's been rented for two weeks. So hopefully I can find my way within two weeks to get another Airbnb, but that's how we living right now, guys. And it's crazy because I have a really nice. Um. Yeah. So that's that's how I'm living, guys. I'm living by the seat of my pants. You know, it's new for me. I don't I don't like living like this, but at the end of the day, my resolve is to be in Ghana and live in Ghana. And this is how I'm managing it, you know? And this is what I'm gonna do. And actually, it's kinda nice. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm trying to, you know, this is on on the go vlogs so, you know, i i told you i'll be having friends that want to be in the video but don't want to be in the video this is one of those people so, you know. but anyway um <laughs> yeah i i i like kind of the nomadic feel like i love coming and it's like yeah i'm only gonna be here and i don't have to deal with the drama the drama of the uk you know it's a whole lot of drama here um, and it's nice to just come and just not have to be a part of it and just be here for a short time. Yeah, guys. So anyway, leave in the comments below. I hope I didn't give you guys a heart attack. 
please don't call my mom. I actually am not like on the streets homeless. Yeah, I mean, I'm just more figuratively homeless. As long as I have money, then I have somewhere to live, you know? <laughs> That's the situation. Big shout out to African Superstar family. Until we meet again, stay black and true. You ain't black, just stay true.